Welcome to the NK03 Blue Ballast System. This cost-effective and compact ballast water treatment system is designed to fit easily into the engine room of any ship type and size. This flexible and modular system comprises four main components. The first component is the oxygen generator, which includes an air compressor, the oxygen generator itself, and an oxygen receiver and booster. The second component is the ozone generator, which includes the ozone generator itself, an ozone destructor to remove any excess ozone, and a chiller to keep the system cool. The third component is the side stream ozone injector, which includes a circulation pump, the injector itself, and the jet nozzle. The fourth component is the monitoring and control system which includes an ozone concentration analyzer to control the ozone dosage used to treat the incoming ballast water and a total residual oxidants or TRO analyzer to ensure that TRO are kept within safe levels. When treating ballast water the NK03 system operates as follows. When the system is on, air is pumped from the air compressor to the oxygen generator. Oxygen is then produced and fed into the ozone generator. Next, ozone is fed from the ozone generator to the ozone injector. The ballast pump is turned on and ballast water begins to be pumped into the ship. A proportion of the incoming ballast water is taken into the side stream injector where it is infused with ozone. A closer look at the side stream injector shows the ozone, coloured pink, entering and mixing with the incoming ballast water. Many of the aquatic organisms contained in the ballast water are killed or neutralised by the ozone. Any remaining organisms are killed by bromine-related disinfectants, which are formed when the ozone reacts with bromine that occurs naturally in seawater. When ballasting is completed, the system is turned off and seawater is used to purge the system. This is a temporary arrangement of NK03 Blue Ballast System for the shop test prior to the delivery of the system to the customer. NK03 Blue Ballast System is designed to inject ozone into the ballast water flow at the rate less than 2.5 ppm during ballasting time. Therefore, the key part is to fit ozone injection unit at this side of ballast pump. NK03 Blue Ballast System is comprised with four integrated systems. First one is feed gas system that is consisted with air compressor including air dryer, filter and air receiver and oxygen generator, oxygen receiver. The second one is ozone system that is consisted with ozone generator, cooling water chiller, flow control module, ozone destructor, ozone injection unit. The third one is neutralized system that is consisted with neutralized tank and injection unit. Fourth one is monitoring and control system, which are consisted with main control panel having PLC software and HMI, human machine interface, and various sensors that are interfaced with each equipment through this main control panel. All these systems can be set on the one skid foundation and completely assembled, wired, tested in the shop before delivery, or individually sheeted and connected with a pipe according to the space to be installed in engine room or combination or on deck as convenient. Just the ozone injection unit shall be installed at this side of ballast pump. This injection unit is comprised with a motivated circulation ejection pump, an ejector and discharge nozzle by which ozone is injected into the ballast water in high efficiency. Now we introduce individual equipment one by one. This air compressor is a single-stage oil-injected screw-type compressor driven by electric motor. 
and air or water cooling type available according to the capacity required. This is water cooling type. The refrigerate type air dryer is integrated in this compressor to dehumidify the compressed air and keep air temperature between 4 degrees and 38 degrees Celsius. And air collection field assembly is fitted as a package and remove particles bigger than 0.01 micron and keep air from oil contaminations less than 0.01 ppm. To keep the air quality using air dryer and filter assembly is very essential for next process of oxygen generator and periodically the condition of dryer and filters shall be checked and maintained in good order. For detailed safety operation and maintenance, please lift to the operation manual of air compressor. The compressed air is stored in this air ship in between 4.0 to 6.6 .6 bar, which contributes reduction of persuasion from the compressor and stabilize the air flow to oxygen generator. This oxygen generator is PSA pressure swing adoption type having two vessel beds filled with molecular sheet by which nitrogen is bent out and only oxygen passes through the vessels and directed to the oxygen receiver. The clean dry compressed air is directed into first vessel bed through inner solenoid valve and the filter and oxygen patches a molecular sheave in the vessel and directed to the oxygen receiver while nitrogen is captured and by switching of solenoid bulb now the air is directed to second vessel bed and the captured nitrogen in first vessel bed is bent out this process is repeated in high purity oxygen more than 90 percent and dew point at the minus 70 degree celsius is obtained and directed to the oxygen receiver it's recommended to use stainless steel material for air and oxygen receiver and also the connection pipes to keep air and oxygen in high quality. The produced oxygen from oxygen generator is stored in this oxygen receiver in between 4.2 to 4.6 bar which contributes reduction of persuasion from the oxygen generator and stabilizes the oxygen flow to the ozone generator. The oxygen dew point is monitored before ozone generation. In case oxygen dew point is higher than minus 65 degrees Celsius, the air quality to oxygen generator and the purity of oxygen need to be checked. Oxygen pressure directed to the ozone generator is reduced to 1.1 bar by pressure regulator at inlet of ozone generator. The oxygen crosses between electrodes in this generating chamber and micro discharge is taking place between electrodes with high voltage electric source from generator panel. And this results in dissociation of oxygen atom and we combine with the remaining oxygen molecules to form ozone. The produced ozone flows to the ozone destructor at the initial stage. And when the ballast pump is started, ozone flows direct to the ozone injection unit at this side side of ballast pump. This actuation is achieved through flow control valve, flow meter, three-way valve in this flow control module. The ozone production capacity and flow control is automatically adjusted in proportionally according to the ballast flow volume measured by seawater flow meter. During ozone generation in this generating chamber, the high temperature is induced and it shall be cooled down below 40 degrees Celsius by water chiller for proper production of ozone. When the ballast pump is started, this motivated circulation pump run and water is discharged through ejector where the vacuum is generated an ozone is induced and injected to the ballast line through injection nozzle. This side stream injection introduces ozone quickly and uniformly to the ballast water and makes disinfection of ballast water effectively. The effectiveness of disinfection of ballast water can be verified by measuring of a TRO for which this TRO analyzer is installed in the ballast line. TRO is total residual oxidant produced after reaction with ozone and ballast water and this infection is continued by this TRO. This neutralized unit is used for deballasting of ballast water. If TRO value in treated ballast water is higher than the specific value, neutralized liquid shall be injected to the deballast water line to control TRO value. For all equipment and sensors are integrated and interfaced with this main control panel which gives programmable load controller and HMI, human machine interface. Full automatic or manual operation can be selectable according to the situation. 
but all learning status of NK-03 Blue Valor system is automatically recorded at real time. Also, NK-03 Blue Valor system is interlocked to ship's ballast management system, and in an emergency case, interlock can be overrides manually. For assurance of safety, NK-03 Blue Valor system is provided with leak detection system in air, oxygen, ozone gas feed line using precise pressure sensors. When NK-03 system is started, first of all, leak detection system is activated and if there is any leak point, the system is not run but run with visible and audible alarm. The pressure of a produced ozone is below 1.1 bar and soaked by ejector during operation and therefore is hard to be leaked. Nevertheless, if human inhale directly, it's no good for the health and would like to recommend the first supply or exhaust vent to be arranged near to the ozone generator. To prevent the fire risk, there must be no slag or welding residue, machining swap, oil, grease, solvent acting around the gas pit system and keep clean condition. There were many questions about acceleration of corrosion due to ozone, but as per the test carried out by KTR, Korea Testing and Researching Institute and the photos taken in NK's test barge that has been used more than three years for ballast water treatment testing, it was obviously confirmed that low ozone dosage like NK-03 Blue Ballast System does not affect to the corrosion acceleration for any relevant material contacting with the ballast water. There is also some question about the safety of ozone and oxygen such as toxicity and other measures and would like to clarify them by the presented human exposure assessment to IMO Keshampo Ballast Works Working Group and their approval by human health assessment and risk to safety of ship. As like this, NK-03 Blue Ballast System is so clear about safety and no risk for safety. The installation of NK-03 Blue Ballast System is so flexible according to the ballast pump location on board. In the tanker vessel, if the ballast pump is located in pump room, only ejector and nozzle injecting ozone is required to be fitted at ballast pump discharge site, and others can be located in engine room or accommodation or on deck as available space. Also, no explosion-proof electric materials are requested. For the tanker vessels with submergible ballast pump, it is the same as former tanker vessels with ballast pump in the pump room. For container vessels and bulk carriers, all equipment can be installed in the engine room or other place available and just connected by the pipeline between each equipment. For all above cases, no need to modify the ballast pipeline, but just fit the ozone injection unit at discharge side of ballast pump. Also, the merit point of NK-03 Blue Ballast System are lowest installation cost and lower operation cost, respectively, than any others based on modular system, which can be connected by the pipeline easily, not disturbing ballast line, and each modular can be installed anywhere in available space and worked by small pipeline connection. Low power required system, which produces ozone and just input it into the ballast line and no other treatment is required. For this ballast water treatment, USA did not yet finalize the firm requirements but issued on March 2010 a draft test requirement, which is much severe than IMO D2 requirements, and nobody carried out such tests yet in the world. NK is preparing test facility in compliance with draft test requirement and carrying out the test to have a satisfactory result very soon. As this presentation, NK-03 Blue Ballast System is well prepared and will be organized in the customer success section. Thanks again for your patience to see all this presentation and hope NK-03 Blue Ballast System to be served for the customers in most reliable and economic treatment.